busy schedule. I wonder if I've got time to go to the that What's the name of the I've got eat that day and I've got to spend a week. Next week, where are you? Just grab my water. Hi, it's Matilda. It's so nice to get your water. Two teenage boys. We both stick our finger up. We get that opportunity to do it once a week and we get away with it. Maybe once a week, sometimes more. <laughs> sometimes more, yes, definitely. <laughs> oh, what a uh, – it's been a weird week this week. Mm-hmm. But as you know, the last couple of days I've really struggled with my back and pain levels. Yes, you have, yeah. Funny enough, nobody on social media points out anything about my back, but they have plenty to say about my other pseudo health conditions. Well, that's because they're all doctors. Ah, oh, the doctors of TikTok have definitely come at me in the last week. Uh, I have a liver condition. Uh, really? I have flora, apparently because I'm dry in the mouth. Oh, okay. I'm sorry you hear me smack my lips. It is a side effect of a medication I take for my trigeminal neuralgia, mm-hmm. which stops me being in pain. Mm-hmm. And I drink more water than is humanly possible. You really with, do. People do that. not realize how much water Matilda drinks. Like, I stay hydrated, but you're a whole nother level. No, I drink, I, what is this? This is a liter, a liter and a half, two or three of these least, a day. Yeah. Um, Giant water bottle. She takes a slug of water. But I love water. I don't drink anything else apart from a couple of coffees in the morning. Mm-hmm. And I drink water the rest of the day. I don't like mm-hmm. flavor, um, artificial flavor. I don't like soft drinks. Mm, yeah, I don't oh, like juice. Yeah, no. I don't like, yeah. Mm-hmm. So I'm a real water fan. Um, what else is wrong with me? Oh, my thyroid, again, I had a couple mm-hmm. of those because my eyes are big. My eyes are big. Get over it. You've had a you couple. Don't even, oh, yeah. It's usually around my eye, mm-hmm. you know, my blind eye. And people are like, do you know there's something wrong with your eye? Like wouldn't have ever noticed it my next response to that would be no it's a filter (laughs) oh that's funny (laughs) i'm like yeah i've got really thick glasses for no apparent reason Mm -hmm. i just love looking like a four-eyed freakosaurus that is my main goal um you look fine i don't know why people have to be so attached to how somebody looks no, because you know what? Nobody's hiring me for my looks. You hire me because I have a 160 IQ. Okay. Mm-hmm. And I, I'm not exaggerating. Unlike Elon Musk, who lies about being a genius, he's a cunning scoundrel, but he, he is. ain't no genius. Um, but people do not hire me to be like a supermodel, nor would they ever, nor would I want to be. So get over it. Uh, well, yeah, that's why no. I stopped putting on my contacts and makeup. And it's like, yeah, guys, I know I clean up well. Hello. I had my hoe phase. But, <laughs> <laughs> and it was good. But, um, <laughs> but I don't, I don't see the point. And it's kind of like when one of the reasons I stopped doing so many predictions isn't just because people freak out. It's because I can give very, very important information. And I used to dress up for those, right? I make sure mm-hmm. so people were paying attention. And then all I get is, oh, my God, that lipstick is great. I don't know how many comments on my lipstick I get. I ended up doing a video on it. I'm like, seriously? Mm-hmm. Every time. What's that mm-hmm. lipstick combo? What's that lipstick mm-hmm. combo? What's that mm-hmm. lipstick Your combo? Your hair. Yeah, 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 yeah. That color looks great on you. Don't get me wrong. They're very, you it's know. Nice it's, to, it's, it's nice. It's, it's coming from a good place, but Absolutely. it just shows how, and these are coming from women, mm-hmm. that women are indoctrinated. This is yeah. part of that social conditioning to overly place value on physical appearance versus capability. And I've had a slew of readings where I'm like, don't play yourself down. You're, you, the reason why you're having trouble finding his job is you're not playing high enough or hard enough. Mm-hmm. Um, don't try to make yourself small to appease other people because you're never going to get to where you want to go then. And that's not no. a masculine thing. Like ambition, confidence. It's not masculine. It's human. Yes. Sorry. 
I'm I'm in a, I'm on a, I'm, I'm in a mood again. Why are you in a mood? Because the moon's in fucking Cancer and it's starting to oppose Pluto. <laughs> well, I'm sorry. <laughs> Jesus. And I'm a fucking Christ. Cancer and there's a lot of pressure right now and I cried all day yesterday over a million different reasons. <laughs> okay. We're not going to feed her after midnight, I promise. Yeah, don't. Or will we leave her out in the rain? No, don't, <laughs> don't. It was bad. I cried so much. I got onto, like, people missing their parents who died, TikTok, and then I got into. Oh, no. Oh, and then it was, like, mom, daughters of moms and the I love yous, and I just couldn't stop crying. So Yeah. I yeah I get I usually go down the dog dying TikTok. I had a few or, of those, or the rescue dog. But yeah. I'll tell you what you didn't do. You didn't <laughs> shit your pants on TikTok Live. No, I did not. <laughs> well done, Matilda. <laughs> but I didn't, you didn't either. You managed to I get off, right? <laughs> I managed to get off live on time. Uh, if anybody was watching me last Saturday on um, TikTok, I was only on for 30 minutes before I discovered that the coffee that I had been drinking was not oat milk and was full Oops. fat milk. And my Oops. eyes suddenly go very wide and I realize that I am either going to shit myself with <laughs> 1,500 people watching or I'm going to have to dick out of the conversation very, very quickly. Um, so yes, yes, I dipped out very, very quickly. At least I was home. That was good. Yeah. I've had one other instance where I have had that happen and it was not pretty. No, that I hate the gotta go. I, I seriously thought about burning my house down after that one happened. I literally, no. It was bad. It was bad. <laughs> and I'd been sick. I'd been on antibiotics and it was my right. first time that I could leave the house. Oh, it's a no. while ago now, and I thought, oh, that's a smart idea. Let's get an iced coffee. Oh, God. Mm. Driving home through several sets of traffic lights was not great. <laughs> Your butt, butt cheeks clenching. Yes. No, no, oh. no, 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 no. <laughs> I've got to tell you a story connected to that. Not connected to shitting myself, I promise you, listeners. Um, years ago, when my children were little, we had one of those station wagons that had seats in the boot as well. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And my eldest loved sitting in that seat in the boot. Mm -hmm. And he was there and we were doing something and I was not going to get home for about five, ten minutes. And he's like, Mum, Mum, I've got to go poos. I've got to go poos. And I'm like, squeeze your cheeks together. And I look in the rearview mirror and he's got his hands on either side of his face. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, bless. It That's was cute. it was the cutest thing. Oh my god. Oh god, uh, that's funny. I shall Aww. remind him of that on his birthday on right? Monday. Oh, here he's it going comes. to be 28. Oh, my little redhead pocket rocket. <laughs> who I still had to take to the optician on Saturday. Right. Yeah. I completely get it. Yes. But the optician did ask if I was his older sister. Hey, all right. I liked that. Mm -hmm. Obviously, I she needs a glass of dealt with. <laughs> you never know, though, because not to throw shade at you, younger listeners, if we have any, um, but some of them are looking a little old for their ages. Oh. And it, it, I don't want to hear about stress because. It's not stress. It it's was genetic. Not, it, it's, yeah, because it was not less stressful when we were coming of age. I don't know what it is, but it is. They do say that the Gen X have aged better than the younger ones. Pluto I'm not, and Virgo. Is that what and it Pluto is? And Pluto and Libra as well. They're both really. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'll take it. Mm -hmm. I always say it's genetic. And it might also be diet. Because there's so many preservatives and additives in foodstuffs globally, not yeah. just in the United States, but globally, like the nutrition level of everything mm -hmm. isn't 
it isn't, isn't as, as great. Good. I've seen mm -hmm. um, a couple of TikToks the other day on um, a couple of people that have been in Europe lately and they, they suffer mm -hmm. from Crohn's disease, which is a pretty mm -hmm. awful condition to have mm -hmm. if you've got a, um, a an inflammatory bowel condition of mm -hmm. any sort. Yep. Um, and they have been able to eat a lot of the foods whilst in Europe that they couldn't mm -hmm. normally eat in mm -hmm. the USA. Mm -hmm. I am a clean eater. That's part of the reason I got the Thermomix that I have. Mm -hmm. I am incredibly careful about mm -hmm. what I eat. Very rarely mm -hmm. will I eat um, rubbish. Yeah, my daughter is very much the same. Virgo energy, and you've got mm -hmm. that Virgo mint, you, you can't not eat fresh. You have to. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. And I find it difficult um, obviously going to whinge again because my back, I haven't been able to get out. If I go grocery shopping, it absolutely kills me for the rest of the day. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I had a friend do my shopping yesterday. I could do DoorDash. Okay, so my friend arrived home with my groceries and said, I'm sorry it took me so long. I didn't know where half the stuff was. And I'm like looking mm -hmm. at them in shock horror because it was like peppers, cucumber, iceberg lettuce, oh, wow. onions, the mm -hmm. mushrooms, the stuff that I, you know, edamame. In the produce aisle. In the, the produce, produce aisle. aisle, yeah. I, and, and they just said, you eat the healthiest of anyone. And so if they had problem finding the stuff, that's why when I do DoorDash, they never find half the stuff. Mm -hmm. Because they don't know where it is. Right. Not everyone shops in the produce area. I find that so odd. I, I do too. I like to, I like to eat well and eat good food and yeah I like to cook so, from scratch yep See? and I make as much as I can from mm -hmm. basic I and can I tell you being at my folks because mm -hmm. they always have a garden mm -hmm. like it's not half the size as it was when I was a kid like we always had a garden but being able to go outside and just pick up my now I always had a garden when my kids were young too because hello but it's been years because I was traveling so much yeah so being able to go grab the tomatoes off the vine and we chop the chives out of the garden for dinner you know the green beans we had a bumper crop mm. that's my thing as soon as I am well again is getting a garden back yeah having to buy herbs kills me right oh i miss i miss i had a seven foot rosemary mm -hmm. that i started from a seed that was my first gardening project was i took parsley sage rosemary and thyme i was about 30 mm -hmm. they all germinated I gave away that shit for year, every wedding, every event, Christmas, everybody. It was like, I was like, Oprah, you get a rosemary. <laughs> I was going to say, kids, we're having rosemary potatoes again tonight. Kids, we're having rosemary lamb again tonight. Kids, we're <laughs> It was. It well, be. yeah, that monster now lives with a good friend, also a Virgo moon. Uh -huh. um, she, she took it when I left because I had no place to put it and... I had babied that through all weather. I could live so. off the produce section. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't have to get, I don't have to grocery shop very often, to be fair. I'll mm -hmm. be honest, because, you know, when they dropped that off yesterday, they said, oh, do you want anything on the weekend? I said, this will do me for two weeks. Yeah. Like, what? What? Really? Because yeah. it's not preservative. It's not out of a packet. Yep. Yep. I make what I need. Yep. We do a lot of food prep here. Mm -hmm. Speaking of, we're going shopping on Saturday because, you know, there's going to be um, probably the Longshoremen's Association is going to strike. Yes. Um, I don't see a resolution in the astrology. No, I was asked so, about that today. And this is mm -hmm. the supply chain issues that we saw as well mm -hmm. as weather. It's, it's going yep. to be, if you are in the U.S., it is not going to be a pleasant couple of months. I'm going to be honest mm -mm. with you. It's mm -mm. just you've got very, very inclement weather coming. Well, mm -hmm. more than inclement weather. And strikes. Catastrophic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. And it's just going to feel like you're being hit after one thing after another. So yep. if you can stock yep. up, uh, yep. stock up. 
Yep, that's what my mom and I are going to do on Saturday. You're going to Costco. We're going to do, well, Costco and a number of other places. Mm-hmm. So, because there's other stores sometimes have better deals than Costco. So, yeah. There's one, an, an employee owned company called Winco here. Nice. And they tend to have really good bulk, mm-hmm. you know. So, we're going to going to load it up yeah i i'm considering going to costco myself on sunday if i can find somebody to come with me Mm -hmm. um just because i want to stock up before november Mm -hmm. and before anyone panics listening in november in australia i'm not worried about running out of things no (laughs) matilda has her own life she's dealing with Yes, it's not. It's not about the weather. I'm just saying. Um, before anyone, yeah, anyone panics. I just like to stock up because I won't be able to shop for about eight, ten weeks. But right. um, yeah, it's not going to be great in the US. I'm going to be honest. No, well, that was that total eclipse. Everybody was so excited about. I was like, Yay! anywhere in the path of that is just have fun, man. What was the path of it? Uh, it went up kind of across through Texas, up through the Midwest, and, and it kind of curved around to the East Coast. So all those places getting shitty weather, mm-hmm. pretty much. I mean, Florida, not so much, but we knew Florida was going to get hit just because of location. But, but what yeah. we saw during our event for October is hitting the eastern seaboard. Yeah. And, and that's mid to late October. Yeah, that's mid to late October. There is mm-hmm. a three storm event coming in mm-hmm. next week or the week after. Mm-hmm. I have this feeling mm-hmm. that whatever is out there at the moment is going to come in and then swing back and then come in again. Could, could. I'm not a. I'm not a. Um, We're not weather. meteorologists, so yeah. we can't. But yeah, no. There's this is the storm that's about to hit Florida. That's just the start of stuff. That's not, yeah. and it's going to hit into the interior. And um, so, all of those people who argued with us months and months ago, <laughs> neener, neener, neener. So, yeah, and not this that could, we feel good about it because we don't. We well, know. no, we don't. But also, this could be the reason there could be delays in announcing the presidency. Yeah, like those stuff later on too. Because if they get hit this hard and then they get mm-hmm. hit hard again, yeah, and there's a significant amount of water involved. We've got Mars, the planet of action or aggression, in Cancer, mm-hmm. a water sign, in trine with Saturn, which is consequence, and in another water sign in Pisces. They are making an unrestricted ax. Um, angle meaning like it's just free flow unbelievable amounts of water yes dams levees estuaries berms seawalls useless at this point because saturn is retrograde so it's a lot so if you were told to evacuate get your hiney out of there if you're listening to this although it's probably it's probably too late coming out too late so but if you are told to evacuate <laughs> in October and you are in mm-hmm. New Jersey Anywhere, in particular, yeah. get your ass out of there. There is nothing worth staying for. Mm-mm. No, I just had a couple more clients from that area where I was like, be very, very ready to go. Mm-hmm. And and start preparing now. Yeah, don't wait. Because if we're wrong, you just have extra donate to donate to a food bank. It's if it's more mm-hmm. than you can do. Yeah. Um, you know, I'd be glad you're wrong. I will. I will yeah, be very happy if I'm wrong. Um, but I I just feel that the inclement storms definitely October feels like there is more than yeah more than one two three. There's quite a few. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's a lot. Conflicts don't resolve well. No. And that goes anything, whether it's a strike or it's other kinds of conflict, even domestic conflict, like, like, you know, so don't get into fights. Yes, it's probably a good idea not to get into fights. Just, just walk away. Yeah. Walk away. Plan revenge. Take, you know, 
but just long term. Then by the time your you know plan is ready, you'll be like, oh, what was I mad about? So. Mm-hmm. Or leave yeah. notes for people to find when they're unsuspecting. I used to do that as a kid. If my mom did made you? me angry. I did. <laughs> I did. I did that once. I got the beating of my life. I, I, I leave. I, I did not address them to anyone in particular. Mm-hmm. I just left notes describing character traits oh my god laurie and would leave them around that person who doesn't do what they said they were gonna do makes other right. people sad that kind of okay. thing. okay that was me at about eight That's and my mom passive, was like she's aggressive she, because Much? it was for my mom to fight because my mom's passive aggressive okay so that was my communication tool because if I would because I'm naturally not I'm naturally assertive and but I I could get in big trouble for that like pull your pants down grab your ankles get swatted with a spoon mm-hmm. you know yeah Gen Z be stressed out you try <laughs> having to grab your ankles while someone's grabbing a spoon to smack your ass <laughs> and <laughs> I think we had less often. voice of any age. We were Mm -hmm. not allowed to vocalize ourselves because Mm -hmm. we would get beaten from. Yeah. Even if it was just a joke, it didn't even have to be serious. No, I got a hiding (laughs) for writing in my diary. I was upset and my mum read my diary. (gasps) Oh, no. Oh. Am I that much of a bad mother? Smack. Yeah. <laughs> well, now that you've smacked <laughs> me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, good times. Uh, good good times. times. But um, next that's time why you we're, are... we're strong. That's why we're strong. <laughs> yes. But next time you're sad and you're on TikTok and going down the the sad and why was me um, mm-hmm. theme, try ba- Bradley Thor. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> I've been sent a number of his TikToks lately. Um, he is such a tease. He is. And he does it on purpose. It's like oh, totally. Yeah. This is the wholesome version. No, it's not. Nothing mm-hmm. you do is wholesome. There is no wholesome there. No. He It he, is all salacious. Yes. He chooses his axe. Or his weapon of choice. And yes. then he takes his belt off in one yep. fail go. Um, and, and then I lose yeah. control of my mind, to be fair. Absolutely. Yeah. But what about that Mr. Williams? He's really funny. He's a pre-K teacher mm-hmm. and counselor. And, and I sent you his and he's part of the alphabet mafia. And he was like, oh, no. I have a fallen tree. I need some help um, from that hunky look. Little... <laughs> yes. I've got wood. <laughs> yeah. Not that kind. Oh, my God. I almost keep yes. laughing. And there's the oh, other guy cute. who is raising quails. Have you seen oh, the guy yes. that's raising quails? Yes. Talk about cucumbers. <laughs> <laughs> he wears gray sweatpants with something that has to be stuffed in that cannot belong to him. Listen, he couldn't do the high jump, could he? <laughs> <laughs> he wouldn't manage the high jump at any point. Right. That would have to be strapped to his leg. Surely, surely that's <laughs> like not normal. How do or men do it? Like, you know. They... Well, they don't think much about much else, do they then? No, this is true. Because they, they must... have to navigate that. Well, all the blood would like rush into it. They'd be very lightheaded. Point, point made. <laughs> Case and point. Could you imagine doing the Case helicopter and... with that? <laughs> <laughs> He'd take off. He'd be like Dumbo. <laughs> <laughs> he you know, I think that's why men were kilts or thobes or, you know. 
I think, you know, maybe they looked at women that designed the bra and said, well, if they're getting one, I want one. Actually, <laughs> women women didn't really design the bra. It was a man. Okay. Well, he then should have designed well, something. Well, women invented the women invented the modern bra, but for holding boobs up, it was like mm-hmm. a king. I think it was an English king. Okay. Who wanted to be checking out cleavage? Fine. There's always Damn one. English. There's always, it's always one. The English. It's probably Henry the Eighth. He got through enough wives. I think it was just before him. Mm-hmm. We'll have to Google it. We will have to find out who invented have to, the bra. We'll Google it. Because it's like the guy, the French king who wanted to watch his kids born, and that's why we use stirrups to give birth. Oh, I never used stirrups. I didn't either. Well, actually, they tried to make me, but. No. It didn't that go. That was not going to well. happen. I have to look it up now. Keep everybody busy while I Google. Well, what would you like out. to talk about? We've talked about bras. We've talked about um, male appendages and them being able to helicopter them like Dumbo. Um, I would like uh, readers to let us know about their, um, you know, people like the quail man who trains his baby quail. <laughs> I'm serious. I find that hilarious, the baby quails. and They are um, super cute. Bradley Thor. We've moved on from the meat slappers and we're now talking about men that just, you know, cut things up for a living. Um, But, yeah, and kilts. My brother was the best man at a wedding. Oh, no, he was the ring-in. He was an usher Mm. at a wedding. And... He, somebody was sick or they'd missed their flight or something. I'm not entirely sure in Scotland. And he was made to wear a kilt for the first time in his life. And the rest of the men grabbed him and removed his undergarments and made him really mm -hmm, wear nothing underneath. Be quite cold in Scotland, really, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it? Mm -hmm. Did you discover who made the bra? Actually. I believe I was ill-informed because there's an entire wiki (gasps) on the history of brassiers, which is very, very fascinating. Um, That's why she was off in space land. I was, because I was like, this is fascinating. Like, the first evidence of bras, they've got, where'd it go? So they've got it back to, like, the 14th century BCE and Minoan civilization. Right. Um, corsets, you know, of course were there, but they were saying, cause I was looking up the English thing. Looks like it's more French sadly, but I know there was an English King that had a thing for it. But anyway, Henri de Mondeville, or V mm-hmm. Mondeville, Surgeon to King Philip the Fair of France and Conrad Stoll in 1315 and 1480 mentioned breast bags wow. or shirts with bags that women would use to contain their breasts. A 15th century anonymous German said many women made and wore these garments, noting the benefits for one woman. All the young men can look at her and can see her beautiful breasts. So there we go. That's why we do it. We do it to flash the titties. I just want to know who decided to stick the underwire in and make them so uncomfortable. Assholes. I just got a new bra that doesn't have that, and I'm very happy. But you're able to do that. I am. I'm small chested. If anyone can out there, okay, so a plea to listeners, hopefully, if you're a man, just keep, you know, maybe put your hands over your ears for now. Or just learn and be educated. Or just learn and be educated. (laughs) I would really like a bra that doesn't have an underwire that is comfortable. Like, you know, like the Bonds ones or the, you know, for Mm -hmm. bigger boobed women, okay? Mm Mm-hmm. But yeah, I saw some though on TikTok. You should scroll on TikTok because I see I some large, large-breasted people 
wearing shilling like, these bras yeah okay and they I'll actually gave me an idea because i hate underwires as well because as much as i don't have a lot of tata i have very mm -hmm. wide ribs right like my rib cage is wide and so bras are usually but the new the new model i got wow it's actually designed for larger boobies i, I just got see. it in my side so yeah mm. it's very comfy i shall see but mm -hmm. I just wanted something that was a little bit more comfortable because I can't go without a bra. It's. Does anyone with a dog take their collar off when they come home? Just like, you know, and think, oh, that must mm -hmm. feel just like taking a bra off. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When I lived alone, it was amazing during lockdown because I didn't mm -hmm. wear a bra very often. I don't think many people did. Hmm. It was great. It's yeah. the best. And I did buy myself a sports bra. <laughs> this one. Mm -hmm. I spent, it was close to $100 on this sports bra, right? Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. Because I've got big boobs, they are hard to find. And it was in the days mm -hmm. that I was running. So I needed something mm -hmm. decent, yeah. right? It took me a while to get it on because it was a pull over the head sort of thing and I thought it would loosen up, I could not get the fucker off. I had to get my scissors <laughs> out and cut myself at all oh, a $100 no. sports bra. Oh, shit. I no. am. I wish I was joking. It got stuck to my – you know when you get that – panicky and it's stuck to your skin yes. because you've been walking or running and it's a little bit sweaty right. and then you're just like oh my god I've got to get this off I've got to get this off yeah, I yeah, yeah. pull my concierge so especially for all those of my, of us. Yeah. yeah all of my concierges are males for a start so I couldn't Great. really call them and say can you come up and help me get out of a bra so mm -hmm. I literally just walked over to the kitchen grabbed a pair of scissors and cut myself out Oh, wow. I could have cried. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, that's our story about bras. Moving on. Yes. Um, Moving on to something <laughs> else. Something No, for exciting. something completely different. <laughs> We've talked about soft porn on TikTok. <laughs> Schlongs and bras. Schlongs and bras. We're going to have to put an but... X rating on this. Recording. I I don't think anything was inappropriately stated, though. No, I don't think it was. So. If it's on TikTok, then it doesn't need an X rating. That's right. I did get to remember you told me I got uh, Garen Noon being a musician, right? And I hadn't seen oh, any of that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I actually came across a TikTok that wasn't his about him and the band he plays in and, like, doing really well and that was really cool to watch his mum often makes tiktoks of him nice so tiktoks or instagrams but she's a big fan of his obviously obviously um, as she should because he's delicious he's delicious he was very upset today though oh yes <laughs> somebody had used his face to be a bit of a clickbait on tinder for swinging mm -hmm. Somebody had then got hold of the story. He wasn't worried about the fact that they used, used his face for, to, mm -mm. for swinging. He was more upset that they referred to him as being from Dublin. Yes, I, am I saw that one. I am from Dublin. He's from Mayo. Yes. He we, said I, so. I, I hope that newspaper, that journalist has learnt their lesson because God, that was funny. it again. Watching his mouth out was so was pretty funny. Oh, absolutely. Do not say that I am from Dublin. How dare you? He was very upset. That's so funny. That was really hilarious. It was. It was. These are the things we do to make it through the day. Yes. Yeah. We we scroll on unnecessarily. We scroll and unnecessarily uh, un <laughs> What's the word? <laughs> Unnecessarily Attention. long amount of time or length of time? Unnecessary amount of time on TikTok. And 
send each other an unnecessary amount of memes and TikToks. Hey, the rugby boys did not disappoint. They did not disappoint. He was grabbing his jocks and lifting him up. That was Mm -hmm. very interesting. But do you know what I have become fascinated with this week? Mm. And I actually sent a, a message out to the group chat exactly what I wanted for Christmas. Mm. I have become fascinated with pesto. Oh yeah. Do you know? Oh, who- pesto the penguin, not <laughs> yes. pesto. I was thinking of your thermon mix, and I'm like, oh, okay. okay Let me make some. You want some pine nuts for pesto? No, okay. I don't want pine nuts. No, pesto I want is a super meet and cute. greet with pesto. I have asked for a meet and greet with pesto for my Christmas present. Oh, I love it. I am just, he is so, he reminds me of Mumble from the Penguin song. Is it Dancing with Penguins? The There was a penguin called I'll Mumble that was in okay. Happy Feet, Happy Feet. Oh, okay. So he reminds me of Mumble and he is one big boy. He is a big boy. He is. He's huge. Mm-hmm. And he's fluffy and he just waddles along quite happy and like waits for his food. The videos are hilarious. Oh my god. I've got it good going on. I you he know, is. he's a sweetie. So if I get my meet and greet and suddenly um there is an alert out he disappears. For a fifty three yeah. year old woman carrying a penguin under her arm. You know who it is. Absolutely. I love I love pesto. He's really sweet. He is, yes. We love our penguins. Yeah. But penguins penguins and most of our um, videos are either cows. Did you see the one that was like his tongue was going mad? I think I sent you one. Oh, yes. That was really, really funny. Yeah. 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 So we we do do funny things. We have to laugh. Mm. Especially when we know that there's a lot of stuff coming down the line that we have predicted or yeah. we've seen, and we will try and distract ourselves because it is very heavy. It is. It's very um, heavy. That, that's honestly why I was in tears yesterday. It wouldn't have mattered what I saw. You know, there were certain, oh. I was waiting for certain events like. There were possibilities if this event happened this way, that's the direction I'm looking Mm -hmm. at. If it went this way, that's the direction. And we had about three different things go to the left. And I was like, I was so upset. And, and yeah, so it doesn't mean we all die. Everybody will be fine. It's just, I get very disappointed in humanity sometimes. (laughs) Yeah. I think we all get disappointed in humanity and humanity is really testing us well at least the the leadership because i will say Mm -hmm. in general in general i'm seeing humanity en masse Mm -hmm. kind of rise up to the occasion um i saw a tiktok where a guy was losing his absolute shit on a freeway because his car stalled and this is like in dallas or houston somewhere with horrendous traffic almost all of the comments were people going like oh man i've had a day like that Instead Mm of what an entitled asshole or, you know, judging him. A lot of people were like, man, I'm, I'm right there. My car is at its end. I can't, cause he was just, he, it was just the last thing. It's never just what is happening Mm -hmm. at that point. Mm -hmm. People have to take on, take Mm -hmm. on, take on, take on. And it may Mm -hmm. have been bill after bill after bill after bill. Yeah. And then then that one last one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We've all been there. Yeah. Yeah, and there were like 16,000 positive comments. Oh, it's amazing. And that's where I'm like, okay, that's where I have hope for humanity is I'm Mm -hmm. starting to see more empathy employed. And I know as much as we deal with trolls, but we're going to. Mm -hmm. We're we're in metaphysics. It's part of the job. But you know what? We have some beautiful comments. People. 10 times more. Yeah. Yeah. Last weekend I I went on and I just said, look, if you're working in this industry, I had had a month off and I did Mm -hmm. my first readings after a month. And Mm -hmm. you spoke to me in the supermarket. Was Mm -hmm. it you? No, I, no, I, that was somebody else. I talked to you after you got back. 
and I couldn't, st- I barely could stand up. I was so exhausted. You and were that's waved. what happens because I haven't used that muscle and everyone was mm-hmm. so lovely in the comments and said, look after mm-hmm. yourself. You do so much for us. Mm-hmm. It's that recognition that we actually do do so much for other people that I yes, really that appreciate. Is massively appreciated. It is Huge. so appreciated. Huge. And mm-hmm. it's the entitlement that I don't like. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. I, I pulled somebody up on comments in my in my thing today. They went, what about Ireland? Question mark. And then someone else said, ports, uh, dock workers, question mark, question mark. That is not a please. That is not a thank you. That is a demand no. as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, it's entitlement. Mm-hmm. And I pulled them up and everyone went, that wasn't rude. Yes, it was. It was entitlement. If you don't add please or thank you yeah. to your question and you just state one word and a question or mark. Or even just, if you don't even just like forget please and thank you, form a complete sentence for fuck's sake. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like I have zero patience. If you want me to make a video you can have the courtesy of using more than three words. Yes. Or keep it in context. Because I had one yesterday and I was already in a mood because mm-hmm. there's a lot coming. And right now, I it's hard for me to shield. And so I'm feeling a hell of a lot more than I prefer. This is why Lori doesn't do psychic readings. Because um, <laughs> she doesn't like this. But I had, I did this video answering somebody else's question that was nicely done. And then it was about the ILA strike. Mm -hmm. Okay. And somebody goes, what about Taurus? Which had nothing to do with the video. I wasn't telling how anybody was going to be doing. And my response was, what about it? Yep. What about it? Mm -hmm. If you're going to ask me a stupidly formed question. Yeah. I will give you a stupidly rude answer. Rude. It is entitled. And you know what, Mr. Island, whoever you are, there's hundreds of questions about Island. And then someone had the audacity to say, I have a a fucking playlist. Yeah. I think it's about time you made some predictions about Sweden. That's, yeah. Yeah, you wonder why my head doesn't Listeners, explode sometimes. Listeners, you can't see my face at that point, but me eyebrows <laughs> raised on that. I just, I'm like, I am not a magic fucking eight ball. You know what? You know what? You know what? You know how you get even with that Swedish person? <sighs> Only what? do Norwegian predictions. Ooh, that'll be fun. And that is my Norwegian ancestry speaking. <laughs> I true story. I'm true just going to tell them that IKEA is going to burn down. I mean, that's that's how I feel. <laughs> I'm just going to oh, my well, yeah, for just... all the stupidly made the... no. oh, my earrings is that just a sign? Out. I don't know. But well, what, what is I it a could sign? do is just put a load of words there and say it's an IKEA prediction. Work it out. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God. I will never put together IKEA furniture ever again in my life. I have so. Oh, uh, about if I buy three one years more thing ago. From IKEA, my son will kill me. You will find. I, I do. Don't get me wrong. I love IKEA stuff. I, I It's super fun to decorate with and, and cute things. Gotta love the lingonberry sauce as well. But. And when I moved to my own place, like three years ago because I, I moved out and I got a place because I was staying with my daughter and I went I had to buy all new furniture and I purposely did not go to Ikea because I was like I am not putting one more thing together so mm-hmm. I go to this other furniture store and I found exactly the bed I wanted and like a you know tables and what have you and this he was a young kid and and he goes, do you want it assembled with delivery? I'm like, oh yeah. And he goes, man, that'll be like 189 dollars. And I was I'll like, pay it. for all of it? Yeah, I was like, for all of it. And he's <laughs> like, yeah. And I'm like, yeah, I'm a middle aged woman. I will be paying for assembly because <laughs> why? It would have taken me a freaking week 
And I would have probably thrown something at a wall to do it myself. I'm like, no, I'm no longer having to do that. No, I am. I Mm -hmm. have a son who is a carpenter. Lucky ducky. He hates it when I buy Ikea furniture. Like he hates it. That's funny. But yes, I've only got a few bits that were Ikea. Are you going to sneeze? I'm not going to take it. I'm not taking it. Oh, it won't come. I'm not doing it. It knows you're around. It's scared of you. (laughs) (laughs) The sneeze thief is here. It's scary. (laughs) She's going to steal it. But yeah. yeah. Ikea is a place I hate. I absolutely. I like the housewares part, though. I like the kitchen stuff for fun. Oh, yeah. I love the kitchen stuff. I took Mm -hmm. Ollie there five years ago before I moved into this Mm -hmm. house. Um, Mm -hmm. And there was a couple of bits I wanted. And I, I can't remember. I think he had my car and he was in Melbourne and we Mm -hmm. went to get what, this is how flustered I got in Ikea, right? I wanted Mm -hmm. a particular drawers, like it's massive. It's got six drawers. It's anyway. Um, I Mm -hmm. took him to get it because of course I can't lift it because I'm a, I'm a weak woman. Um, and I've got a burly son, so I take him to get it for me. Absolutely. And we lost sight of each other. And oh, I God. gave him my phone with a picture of the thing I wanted on there, all right? Oh, no. So he had my phone and we lost each other in Ikea. I have walked around. I've gone back to my car. He... <laughs> This is how flustered I was. I saw him because he, he's quite tall and he's got bright red hair. Right. So he stands out. Right. You can't miss him. You right. can't yeah. miss him. Um, and I've gone, oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm glad I found you. I've lost my phone. And he's just gone, I've got it here, Mum. It's fine. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Yeah. So that's the last time I have been to Ikea. Now I order it online. And right. get it delivered. I'm two hours away from uh, the local IKEA. Right. I order it online yeah. and get it delivered, but I don't need any for. I think I'm I a thousand d- miles from one at this point. Yeah. I do not need so. any more furniture. I do no. not need any more furniture. I do not Ooh, need. You know what I just any more got furniture. Though? Did I send? You, did I send you the picture of no. my uh, 16th or 17th century uh, uh, yes. Bargueno? Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes, you did. Mm-hmm. It's very cool. It's very beautiful. It's a little ostentatious, but it ain't demure. Well, if you like, like it, you it. like it, and you're going to click. Is I it going to be sent out to you? Uh, potentially. Depends on what happens with the next phase of this operation. So, but right. yeah, it can be mm-hmm. sent out to me. Very mm-hmm. cool. Very yeah. cool. I'm very excited about it. Yeah. A Barguino is like a mobile desk. Uh, mm-hmm. Spanish people would take on their travels. So they're very cool. Is it like a um, bureau? Kind of. So imagine it's like it's a gorgeously carved file cabinet, effectively. Right. They would have mm-hmm. had the important documents and it would be carried along on like a journey or what have you. So they're heavy as F, but you know. You know. It's yeah, beautiful, 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 beautiful. I'm very excited. It had to be restored, so it's like I didn't get a complete one. The, there's there's restoration work on it, but uh, okay. that's why I could afford it. I, I couldn't afford one that didn't need restoration. So I'm not that kind of collector. I'm the hey, find me a good deal and we'll make it look old. <laughs> <laughs> it puts my IKEA furniture to shame. I am looking at a Persian dish right now. Nice. From like the 13th century. Wow. Very nice. But it's not that expensive. It's like under $1,000. I'm just trying to yeah. decide if I want it or not. But mm-hmm. it's very cool. Helps when you know somebody who's into antiques. Yeah. That would that And would it's help. coming. It's like nobody stole it. It's not, it's not an antiquity like that. It's like mm-hmm. it's part of somebody's collection. But yeah, I'm kind of excited about that. I'm I'm doing these things to distract myself. For from what's going on in the world. Yeah. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah. See, I've sort of finished my house now. I don't think I want any more furniture until I move again. I and then I can so. yeah. interior design somewhere mm -hmm. and buy those things. I bought a lot of mm -hmm. maps. I love, oh, maps. I love maps. And maps are amazing. But of significance to me, like of Dorset, mm -hmm. which is where I grew up. Oh, and I yeah. bought the London mm -hmm. Underground map that I have. Mm -hmm. I'd Aww. like one of, of central Victoria where I live, maybe of mm -hmm. Melbourne. Um, I have, I have a, and this is 60 years old, oh, which isn't really? old, but it's older than I am. And it is right. a tablecloth of the, it's a complete tablecloth map of Germany. Oh, that's cool. I love those types the of things. The old Germany. The old tourist. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm not sure if it was, it must have been an old tourist thing. So it has, it's the mm -hmm. old Germany. It's before it was, mm -hmm. I don't know. It must have the, the, it must be East and West because it was 60 years ago. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, so I have that, but it was, and it's got the place that I was born on. So that's why I have ended up oh, with it, or it was cool. all that's where I was cool. born. So that sort of nice. thing, I like to collect mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I have? The, one of the, and I've got it in a frame. People are going to hate me for this because you're either a, a Margaret Thatcher supporter or you're not a Margaret Thatcher supporter. Mm -hmm. I have a letter on 10 Downing Street paper from Margaret Thatcher. Oh, wow. And oh, that's was, still cool. Thanking, Whether people are for it or not, that's still mm, historically very awesome. It was thanking the local prime minister, the local politician, mm -hmm. for the flowers that he had sent her on the completion or the end of the Falklands War. Oh. Um, wow. It was given to me because I he was a neighbour. Oh, Cool. And yeah, so I have it and That's I have really it in a neat. frame. So little things like that I like to mm -hmm. collect that mm -hmm. are connected mm -hmm. to me. I'm mm -hmm. not really mm -hmm. an antique sort of person. I mm -hmm. can appreciate them, mm -hmm. but I couldn't appreciate them enough to go and buy them. There are certain things I really, really like. And some of it is like the reason why I'm very interested in the dish is the artwork on that particular mm -hmm. piece. Right. And I, I'm a sucker for that kind of art. Mm -hmm. um, there were other ones that were maybe more valuable that were still within my budget. But I was like, mm, you know, just like the Barguena. Like, I love the Spanish architecture and design of the 16th, 17th centuries and yeah, it's but something I have that you've family have heritage from that as well. Yeah, exactly. So it wouldn't be just anything. Mm -hmm. So, and I like old books as well. Oh, I love old books. But, but I need game... I I need my space before I can fill a wall to wall library. Yeah, no, I, I that get I you. never have to move. <laughs> <laughs> no, I I totally get you. I have my. Have you seen my library? I haven't seen it, but we've talked about it. Yeah, I have a library. I've got hundreds and hundreds of books. Mm -hmm. um, none of them are really any noteworthy, but I do have. Um, but you've have, read them. I have read them, <laughs> and I some they mm -hmm. are my friends. Every single book there mm -hmm. is a friend of mine. Mm -hmm. I do have a word out for one thing that I've always wanted, book wise. Um, the first books that I really got into, and I do love series of books, mm -hmm. was Mallory Towers, Enid Blyton, Mallory Towers. Oh, yes. And you can buy the new versions of them, mm -hmm, but I mm -hmm. don't want the new versions. I want the orange cover, mm -hmm. the original orange red cover, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, and I want the set. So I've got a word out to get those, which, you know, only significant to me. It's not. Right. Um, and because I had that, the first book that I read, the Enid Blyton um, mm -hmm. Mallory Towers, was a beaten up mm -hmm. red orange cover, and I got it at a um, at a jumble sale. Right. Oh, I love that. So yeah, I just, just bought a new copy because my daughter has my original copy. 
of a book I paid for with my babysitting money when I was 11. And it was at a Scholastic Books Fair. It wasn't even in the hard copy. You know, Mm -hmm. it was paperback. But I read it to my kids and I didn't know that Jane Langton had written a series. And I don't know how I missed that as a kid. Well, the internet But I'd only found the one book. No, but I read a lot. But I Mm -hmm. got all these books um, that are new to me. Amazing. Because I love that story. I lo- even now I was that was forty four years ago. Mm-hmm. But I yeah. love that book. But again, my, my daughter my daughter took it because mm-hmm. she has memories. Well wow. I read it. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah, I mean think Mallory Towers yeah. I read when I was seven, yeah. six or seven. I remember oh. taking that book to Ireland when we went there on holiday, and I must have been about that six or seven age, because I just I read it to escape my very noisy Irish family when we were there because right. there isn't an Irish family that isn't noisy oh, but oh, my family must be noisy I, I mean, must be Irish we do have a lot of Irish on mom's side mm-hmm. yeah I just so that would mean books. why it's noisy yeah <laughs> I'm looking I'm looking because I can put out a call for it too but I found one of my favorite things to do as a kid this is going to be really really strange is doing the searching you remember they had those databases the microfiches to find the books that you wanted in the library yes i used to love doing that Um, yeah me too card catalogs microfiche Mm -hmm. the smell of a card catalog and then you could find your book that you were looking for because i always read what's judy bloom Every every oh, yeah. girl has read Judy Bloom. So right. and I never had any money as a child because, you know, books were not important. Um, but I used to wait for it to come in at the library and I'd like, oh, they've got it for another five days. I have to come back in five days. <laughs> library. Right. Oh my me. god, waiting waiting for the books to come out. Mm-hmm. Oh, they probably didn't hate you. They probably loved that you loved books. Probably. Yes. But yeah, that was the library was my favorite place to be. They're magical spaces. They are magical spaces, but they're not as popular anymore. Um, they're kind of having a resurgence in the states in some ways. They had to redo them because mm-hmm. the world has changed, and so yes. there's a lot more technology. There's still a lot of books. Um, have you seen Michael, the librarian on TikTok? Probably. Oh, if you have not. He is the sweetest, kindest. Is he the most bearded guy book. that says these are the books that I've read this month? No, no, okay. I'll have no. to find Michael, Michael the librarian. I will send. I will send you Michael. Mm-hmm. He's he is a precious, precious national treasure. Um, cool. And he's he's really sweet, and he struggles with mental health. He's been a librarian for over a decade, but he has such a positive attitude. Mm-hmm. And he reminds people that, you know, books can be your friends. And he tells stories about library kids and library grownups. He's a very good storyteller. Amazing. I will send you him. He is a kindred spirit. And thank you. A beautiful, beautiful. He's one of those people when he comes across my FYP, I'm like, there's good people in this world. Yeah, there are good people so. in this world. There are mm-hmm. lots of good people in this world. Way more than bad people. There's what a happened? Spider. There's a spider. Oh, <laughs> the face she made. I was like, good God, what's coming? I just, to the right of me is mm-hmm. the, the top of the window and there was just this spider mm. crawling down and I'm like, I'm just going to work out which one. Oh, no, it's fine. It's one that will eat the flies. Oh, that's good. Some spiders that, are good. That's they great. have to eat the flies. And flies oh, are the bane that. of my fucking life. If you live in yeah. Australia, they are a pain in the ass. You can be in your bed, you can be all snuggled down, and you can be, ah, oh, this is so cozy. And all of a sudden there's a bzzz, Oh, God. And you have to get out of bed, find the fly spray, and find that fucker before you get a wink of sleep. No, that sucks. Mm, it does. Blow flies. They are no fun. Yuck. Mm-hmm. No, that's when we root for the spiders. Yes, so there's a spider there and he will eat the flies. <laughs> yes, that's good. 
Is there anything you want to give a shout out to today? Uh, I've got a six week coaching program that is up on my website and I'll be announcing it out to patrons probably before we air this. Um, hopefully if okay. I get my shit together, mm-hmm. but yeah, it's on healing. It's using your astrology to basically thrive. So we're going to work through many wounds and find the healing pathway as per your own chart. Cause human beings are not one size fits all. No. And you must have your own chart or know your chart to take part. Yeah. In it, you have to, your birth you have to have an astrology. T- yeah. You have to have a birth time. That's mm-hmm. all in the description though. So like I write all that, but sometimes people read. People sometimes don't they get excited. Read. I've been that person sometimes yes. when I get excited about something. So I, oh, I'm not going to blame too hard. I know. And I had, oh, so somebody booked in for my, I've got an evidential mediumship event on the weekend. Okay. And somebody booked right. in for it and then sent me a message saying, can I cancel because this is an evidential mediumship event. Okay. This is a mediumship event. I don't know what you were expecting yeah. me to do, tap dance, but you know, there you go. Um, cancelled that, but what did I do? I had the fuck up of all fuck ups. I'm sorry about my language, but oh. there is no other way to explain this. The event had a hundred people in, and I accidentally cancelled the whole event out of my system. Oh God. I just clicked a button and then it says, are you sure you want to do this? Type the word delete. Delete. Because I thought I was <gasps> cancelling another event. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, God. So everybody got an email telling them that the event had been cancelled. I'm frantically trying to reset the event Add all the people that received emails into the new event. Right. Send an email saying, look, I'm sorry, I messed up, I'm a noob. Um, And then I'm getting emails saying, are we getting a refund? Are we getting a refund? Are we getting a refund? (laughs) Give me a minute. And that's what triggered my back off this week because I was sat for too long doing all of that. No. It was not a pleasant day. The air did turn a funny colour of blue because I was swearing. (laughs) But we did it. I, I did it. I didn't lose my temper. Oh, God, I managed. that was the same day. That, that was, was the, the tech same day, day from hell. You yeah. had a tech day from hell. <laughs> yeah, that was Sunday because my Sunday, your Monday, because I ended up with tech issues with my laptop and it took me three hours of troubleshooting, just going down the list of like what could be wrong, like go to. Go mm-hmm. go. And I didn't call any customer service because as a middle aged woman, I will get the did you turn it on and off? Did you restart it? Blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, and I've been using computers and precursors to computers. <laughs> Since I was a kid, I coded my own goddamn video games, okay, on a cassette tape. So I don't want to hear it from some person. Did you restart it? Did you restart it? I know, yeah. You know, it's like, fuck me. And you know what it was? It was a bad driver. Mm -hmm. And I was, and I ended up having to do like a, a complete hardware scan. Because my camera wasn't like I was, we're on Riverside right now, right? Mm hmm camera automatically picks up it wasn't even giving me the camera was disabled it just like there was the camera did not oh, exist wow mm-hmm. which meant it also wasn't going to pick up audio because it was showing no microphone right mm-hmm. so and i'm like okay. it was a bad driver that you had to reset it was a bad driver that i had to reset but i had to know like <laughs> Was it the optical drive? Was it this, you know, so, but I didn't lose my temper. I mean, it was a little, it was annoying. Mm-hmm. It was, was annoying. It was the time. I, yeah. It's like two it hours was just like, that we don't have. You and I are very, very tight for time we at don't, the moment. We are. We don't have a lot of time. It's very filled. And the good news, well, it got the, I got the podcast out, but I didn't start recording till like one in the morning. Mm. Yeah. I went to bed at 6 a.m. And I have a lot of personal life stuff I have to take care of right now. 
and I'm behind on all of that because of that tech delay. But like, yeah. I have to do life, life stuff. So and, and we're both in the same situation because usually we are. you and I would have a chat before we record, and Mm-mm. we're like, no, we'll just see you, see you on the recording, yep. <laughs> and then yep. we'll we finish the recording, to. and we're just going to go straight back to our work. That's how busy yep. it is right now. It is. It's crazy. And so, but we've got to be busy, ready. Busy. But we've got to be ready yeah. and it's going to be fine and we enjoy doing yeah. what we do. We do. We're not really like, we're just feeling an immense amount of pressure right now. Yes. And it's nothing you guys are doing to us. No. You no, are no, not no, the no. problem. There is just listeners. a lot of pressure there. And yeah. there's big news coming within the next two weeks. I'm telling mm-hmm. you now, there is something. Mm-hmm. Um, don't ask me what the fuck it is. <laughs> It's a prediction we've already made. I can think of a handful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can think of a handful of predictions we have individually and together have made. made. Um, And that's kind of why we're under pressure. We need to be ready for that. And I also have a massive surgery coming up that I have to be ready for. So I'm – and and I I just want to say I have mentioned it on a couple of podcasts and I'm moving people from November – if you haven't heard from me, I am not moving you just yet. You will be right at the end of November and I'll be going, ah, I've got nowhere to put you in October or September, so we're just going to see if I'm going to be capable to do it. Or you'll be moved to December. Yeah. So, yeah, that's all I want to say because everyone, but people are reaching out to me saying, you haven't moved me, what's going to happen? So it's kind of like when I give a prediction, if I don't mention your area, don't worry about it. Mm -hmm. So if Matilda hasn't moved you yet, you're good. You're good. We're going to see how Matilda is when it comes to the end of November. Yeah. She's very good at communicating. If I'm high on drugs, you won't get a reading. (laughs) No, but I'll be talking to you because that's going to be funny. Oh, you love it when I'm on a painkiller, don't you? (laughs) I love it when you're on painkillers. It is fan fucking tastic. I don't take painkillers. <laughs> this is this is part of the reason why. Not very often. I yeah. very very rarely take them, and occasionally it will all just get a bit too much, and I'll take my one little. T- put it this way: I have had painkillers that are incredibly strong in my cupboard mm-hmm. that I got prescribed in January. Right, and there's only yeah. about six of them gone. Yeah, because so, you don't, you don't. Because I don't you guys like have them. no idea. You like Matilda them. moves through life in chronic pain. And, but I'm used and to it. a lot of it. So it's going to be yeah, great when I'm not. still function. I still function. Oh, it's gonna you're going to be unstoppable. But I, I looked at Matilda's chart for next year. You guys better <laughs> hold on your hats and wear seat belts because she's just going to run circles around all of us. Yay! But Laurie, yeah. if, I'm, if I've had a... Tr- <laughs> Laurie will phone me. And I'll go, do you really want to talk to me? I'm high. And she'll go, oh, hell yeah. And I can't get my yeah. words out. It's even worse than it is now. It's, yeah, it's fun having a conversation with me when I'm on a painkiller. So hilarious. Somebody had better keep me off TikTok during those first two weeks of November. <laughs> maybe, maybe not. It'll be fun when the news comes out that Trumpy Dumpty is never going to be president will again. Will never going to be president again. And he's already announced that he'll never run in twenty twenty eight. He's already said it. Yeah, well, he this won't is... be alive in twenty twenty eight. No, he won't be alive so... in twenty twenty eight. But he doesn't make it to twenty twenty eight. No, so... but um, yes, I can't. Yeah, I I have said so many times that he's not going to win, and everyone goes, "Are you sure?" Are you sure? Are you sure? I'm so sick of that. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure. Staying on the prediction. Mm-hmm. I so, am still I, and I'm still waiting to see what happens. I'm still not convinced he's going to be the candidate. I'm with you. Me either. And I'm just wondering how that's going to go down. So. Well, he must have a red metal rod up his ass because he is staying upright. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's very interesting because I expect the health crisis, but it's got to be coming. I'm wondering if it isn't mid-October. Um. So. Well, we're not out of September yet. That's what I'm going to say. True. We've still uh-huh. got, what are we, Thursday, Friday, got Saturday, Saturday cup- Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Yeah, we're on the 25th. So There's 30 days in, the in, in September. 
Yes, 30 days, half September. Mm -hmm. I know, because I gave birth on the last day of September. There you go. I pushed out my £9.11 bright red head, Humpty Dumpty. Wow. That's okay. That is a lot. It was a long time so ago. He can I should put, be over is that it by the now. one that can <laughs> So he can go shopping with you and carry your Oh, uh, I will not see him all weekend. He's having a party. Oh. He's having a party in a paddock, a friend's paddock. A paddock is a field. Yeah, it's right? a field. Mm-hmm. Um, so they all take their swags, which is a tent sort of thing. Nice. Um, and they drink themselves stupid and it is a Power Ranger part. No, is it Power Ranger? No, it's a Teenage Ninja Mutant. Teenage Ninja. Mutant Ninja Turtles. Mutant Ninja Turtle. Yeah, it's one of them parties. So they're all dressing up as, they're 28-year-olds. They're all dressing up as Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I'll try and get some photographs. That's great. <laughs> Have fun. <laughs> Not on my watch. So I won't hear from him all weekend. Ah, he will. That's well, why. At least they're he's having fun out in a field. I was going to say, at least they're out in a field and having fun. And what a fun birthday! Well, it's a long weekend so. here as well. We have tomorrow. Oh, okay. Tomorrow is a public holiday. Um, it oh. is. We have a Friday off in September. Do you want to guess why we have Friday off in September? No, for a football game. That sounds very Australian. Mm-hmm. It is the grand final of the Australian rules football. Do I know who's in the finals? Do I fuckers like? Would you like to know who's in the final? Sure. I don't know because my other son's having an AFL grand final party this weekend. So there's two parties, two boys in their 20s. I won't see either of them. Well, it, maybe you'll get work done. Um, yeah, I will be working. I don't know who's in it. I think it's Sydney Swans and Brisbane Lions. Does that educate you? Sure. I feel educated. Okay. All right. On that I note. I think it's fun that you have a public holiday for it. Oh, we on have a that pu- note. Oh, what? We have a public holiday in November for a horse race. Any other questions about Australian public holidays? We have more. We have one for the King's birthday. We have two for Easter. We have one for Anzac Day. We have one Mm -hmm. for Australia Day. We have one for, we have a lot of public holidays. Mm -hmm. And everyone gets paid for them. Because they have bank holidays. They're called, yeah, they're public holidays, bank holidays. They're the same thing. You get full pay for them and you get the day off. Nice. It's probably about 10, 12 a year. Do you want to move to Australia yet? Anyone else? Anyone? I work for myself. I'm paid for shit. I know. <laughs> I don't. I'm working tomorrow. I'll spend it. It's a public holiday. I'm working. Right. Mm-hmm. That's always me. I have to remember. I have to go look through. I'm like, oh my God, like this year, <laughs> July 4th, I didn't schedule off mm-hmm. because I wasn't thinking about it, you know? That's why that I was fine. Yeah. You know, I read for people, but I'm booked now. I've got myself closed down. So guys, if you can't find a reading on my books and you can't find a reading on my books, there there's no more times coming in this year. I, however, am opening up my December and January readings on the 1st mm-hmm. of October for my Patreon members, my paid mm-hmm. Patreon members. Um, so Where? they get the early yeah. release and... Mm-hmm. I then 48 hours they go to the public yeah mine are only like I'm only posting to patrons at the moment Mm -hmm. I don't have the link up for the public people have to know my website but I think there's still some spots open in December cool but if Mm -hmm. people want them right now there ain't anything happening in mid-October yeah I've got nothing until December that yeah that time off is really, 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 really important for me, the mid to late October. Cause well, you're going to need it. 
I'm getting smacked right between the eyes with that energy. And if I'm feeling cranky now, you don't want to talk to me in mid-October to late October. Okay, just let's face it. We will not let her out in the rain or feed her after midnight. No. I promise you guys. No. It'll be I'm fine. Very cranky. Mm-hmm. And I'm, I'm pro- not cranky at anybody in particular. No, I'm she's just-, just feeling... Sometimes we get cranky and angry, just like everyone else. We are human. This is the human side of us. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm just feeling a lot of the energy. It's just really thick. Okay. It's very thick. It is. It is thick. It is. I and it, it didn't have to go this way. And no. I'm very upset about that. I totally understand. So mm-hmm. There were better decisions to be made. <clears throat> so... I'm a little pissed off about it, damn it, because I like people to be okay. But, totally uh, understand. I like people to be okay too. But we're going to wind right. it up for today. We are, because we got shit to do. We got shit to do, <laughs> as always. Oh, it's been a pleasure. Love you, Olivia. Don't eat anything yeah. after midnight. Bye. I might. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>